welcome our next headlight talk speaker. And call assistants like IVR and agents. I would like to emphasize one important thing here. 77 percentage of the customers are difficult to contact with an agent. Are you agree or not? Let's go with the customer case. So bill query. As I am a privileged customer, I am receiving a bill on this month bill which is more than what I expected from last month. Oh, why my bill is so high? This is too much guys. I will go and check my deal details. I am not so confused. I can go my check my paper bill as well. Why my paper bill details and my digital bill details are so different? I am so confused. Should I call to the call center? Yes. Welcome to XX company. Press 1 for Tamil. Press 2 for English. Press 3 for Hindi. Okay. To know the status of your new number, press 1. If you want to know the status of your existing number, press 2. Okay. Please enter your 10 digit mobile number. Okay. To confirm, press 1. Is it? Okay. Thank you for the confirmation. This call is being recorded for training and quality purposes. For billing related queries, press 1. For plan change, press 2. Okay. Thank you again for the confirmation. All of our agents are busy at this time. Your call Lord is very man. important to us. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered shortly. Okay. I'm waiting when I can get the agents. Yeah. Thank you for calling XX company. My name is Ramya. How can I help you, sir, today? Hey, Ramya. Why did you uh, uh, build so much for this month for me? I'm seeing two different uh, bill details in my mobile on my paper bill. Could you clarify it on the same? We are so sorry, sir, for the inconvenience. Please don't worry. We are here to assist you. Can you please confirm your 10-digit mobile number? Hey, I have already entered my number. Don't you have it? Sir, we need this for our security purposes, sir. So please, can we verify your account? Okay. Thank you for sharing the mobile number. Please hold on while we are checking your information. Thank you for waiting on the call. This issue is handled by the finance department. Can I please transfer your call to the finance department? Why? You don't have my details? You can't solve my problem? Why should you transfer to another agent? We are so sorry, sir. Can I please connect you with the finance department? Okay, let's do that. I'll wait for more time. Let's see. All of our agents are busy at this moment, but your call so. is very important to us. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered shortly. <sighs> sorry, guys. I'm so frustrated. I'll cut the call I do. Go to the call or uh, do the store and solve my problem. Guys, I end up with a call without no resolutions. Have you faced anything on this related to this? Right? Most of them. Now, let's imagine a personal assistant or virtual assistant come into the picture solving a customer and agent problem and improve the customer experience. Whenever the agent having a problem or, or sorry, the customer having a problem on the digital, at the moment, 
the personal assistant or virtual assistant can come into the picture to inform them and guide the user to complete the task. If not, yes, AI would not be able to control everything. So it should intelligently transfer and escalate to the right agent with the right resource. Friends, I'm not going to introduce new technology that has been already established in 54% of the companies, conversational AI. The only thing that I need to convey the message is like, understand the right use case before you proceeding the designs. AI could not solve, solve any problems, but you need to write the use case where the AI should involve throughout your customer journey. You need to understand the data. One is the customer input and prompts and also the discussion with the customer agents, the voice. How many of you are involved in call listening activities? as a designer, right? It's more important as a designer to understand the customer pain points. So the calls are recorded for learnings and quality purpose. How many of you are learning, right? Partner with analytics team to understand the summary of the speech and tra text transcriptions. In early days, we used to listen, call lessons uh, more than one or two hours to get the summary out of it. But the evolution of AI will get in the summary within a fraction of minutes. Why don't we leverage this experience technology to understand the customer pain points, to create the use case, develop the scenarios, to define the scenarios throughout the ecosystem, because the customer is going on everywhere, digital, assisted, channel, and on the agent call centers. Here the deal. Once you define the use case, how to design, right? So conversational designs are not, is not as like as a traditional design. Traditional designs are use the task level accomplishments and navigations page level, but in a conversational AI, it's based on the input and prompts from the user. It's totally in the voice and text data. Understand the prompts and intent from the customer. Identify the problems, top 100 or 50 or 500 problems from the customer side and as well as the agent side, how they are searching the content from their side, agent. Conscious and designs or needs, interactions is based on the sounds and voice and text. And the designs based on the dialogue bubbles and widgets. You need to write design system in place too. One is consistency in design in all platforms and channels. And also you need to collaborate with the development team too create experience to, to uh, the more cohesive experience for the design and developments as well. And finally, you need to test, right? You need to put a test case based on their user journeys. You need to put a lot of effort. The human needs to involve on the testing. AI needs the human to test everything. You need to put a stop where the AI should be involved and where the humans should be involved in the, during the design journey. You know, you have defined all the use cases, but you need to document somewhere how to create, define the use case and how to document this to collaborate with other partners, right? So there are a lot of frameworks available in the market. Maybe you can, you can use any one of the framework to define the use case because you need to understand the customers and agent needs. Agents are power rangers. They need to have a powers to attack. You need to build the right weapons to, to solve the customer problems. 
This is the one of the use case that upgrade device. You can craft the use case according to you based on your business case and use design. Is definitely the conversational AI design helps the organizations to build the right platform to the agents or customers to solve the problems and improve the customer experience to build brand value. Yes, definitely. You can see 54 percent is already been using the system. Customer service hours been saved huge. How Verizon is currently in involving the adopting this AI technology? How many of you are purchasing a device before purchasing your device, expecting a promotions and offers, or end of the purchase, you just getting a free base, right? To asking the agents, can I get a headphone? Can I get a case? for this phone? How many of you? Honest? I will be asking. I do ask. So here what digital, when other customer coming onto the page, landing page, on a, will be proactively inform the user, hey, this is a, this promo offer is eligible for you to before we make a purchase. So customer will understand and influence the customer, you can better conversion rate. So here next, personalization experience. So one thing is like after we purchase the e product in the e-commerce, we do next best action is like when my product, I will, I get the product, right? So here is the, we are proactively inform the user when the customer landed on the page next best action scenarios we found out for at least five scenarios we bring into the table to the customer they can start from there anywhere as well one thing is another thing is omnichannel experience customer can, customer can drop the cards or abandoned cards in anywhere they can go to the store they don't interested to go drop from there and they digital do the draw digital if they want to continue from anywhere we are spending a lot of time to search the products and drop out from some network issue, any issues happen, we drop out from the applications. So how do we start from there? So bringing a personalized experience, customer can anywhere can start their journey to complete the product purchase. Here, when we say the agents, if we call you, you know why the difficulty is customer is facing when the call is transferred to another customer? Maybe the, now the agent is not well equipped, understand the uh, one is business rule or customer, real time customer uh, patterns, journey or history from the user. They won't be able to get, they have to go to search different uh, systems and documents to get the detail. So why need to proactively inform the user, inform to the agents, hey, this customer is calling for this problem. Why don't we inform the agent before that when the customer is calling then proactively recommend to solve the issues. Our designs are not only completed before measuring our performance, right? The performance measure is like its value for our designs, create a value and also improve to get a chance to improve the experience. Here's a few data currently in the market, benchmark for first contact resolution rate, another NPS. I, th I hope today morning our leaders are talking about this metrics. These are the metrics or high level metrics on the business level, but as a designer you need to understand the experience level data. Work with the partners, analytics team, development team, Understand where the touch point, the customer is a touch point is like from the chat, they go to IVR, they go to agent, they're coming back to the store. You need to understand where the customer is dropping, where they are starting, why they are dropping. Mm. Experience level data, you should be make, take all the informations and partner with the analytics team, create a dedicated dashboard for chatbot alone so that you can understand where the customer is journey.
as the industry is evolving, design industry. Hello? Yeah. The conversational AI also getting a superpower, right? And solving the customer problem to the future of customer interaction. It is not only create a life more easier, it will also bringing more empathy and create more creativity and also bring more inclusive world. Friends, we want customer service agents to be more happy. That should be a champion and customer also will be a champion. Thanks to him giving the opportunity for the leaders from Horizon and the US India. Thank you all.